Hey YouTube, Ryan here from Focus on the Beer. I uh, haven't given you a beer review in a while, and I wanted to get one in here. This is a new brewery that's just hitting Colorado Springs here in Colorado. They're named Mash Mechanics, and this is going to be their Juicer Milkshake IPA. Let's dig in. Alright, so Mash Mechanics, if you haven't heard of them, they are going into downtown Colorado Springs. Uh, they're opening actually Saturday, March 13th. Uh, so if you are in the area, I know there's supposed to be a big storm coming through, but if you find yourself looking for a good beer, uh, I think they're doing a, a soft opening that day. So definitely stop in there and check them out. So this is their Juicers IPA. It's a milkshake IPA. They say it's double dry hopped citrusy any IPA with lactose. So... Let's see how it tastes. It smells pretty good out of the can. All right. Pretty good looking beer there. Now, these guys are brand new. Didn't really know anything about them. Uh, their their main brewer guy is, a, uh, I think, a big home brewer here in town. Yeah, definitely got a lot of uh, citrusy notes. Man, knowing it has lactose, I feel like I smell the lactose. Uh, I know that's not true, but it's, sometimes some brewers are heavy-handed with the lactose. We'll see if this one tastes gritty or not. Uh, sometimes with those milkshake IPAs, it feels like you're almost like drinking down sandpaper. Uh, pretty good looking color. You know, I wish it could be a little brighter uh, yellow, but uh, nice, nice sort of solid haze to it. Yeah, I'm getting lactose, really lactosey on the on the nose with uh, with that citrusy uh, hoppiness that's coming through. Let's taste it out. Okay, that's good. Good bitterness uh, rounds the flavor out. It's not there right at the beginning, so you're not hit with this crazy uh, bitter bomb straight off the bat. Uh, we're coming in at 6.8% alcohol here, so really just a nice middle-of-the-road uh, double-dropped, double-dry-hopped uh, New, New England IPA, milkshake IPA, I guess is what they're calling it. Yeah, you know, I'm getting the lactose a little bit, but it's not crazy. Um, it's definitely, as as I as I take a second sip of it, it's definitely a lot more bitter than I expect out of a New England IPA. Um, that first that first hit uh, of citrusiness is nice, but then it just really is almost too bitter. Um, I would like to see, I know this is probably one of their first batches of this, of this beer itself. Um, uh, I would like to see in subsequent batches for them to maybe tone down the bitterness just a little bit. Uh, to, to call it a milkshake IPA, uh, I really expect that sort of pillowy cloud, uh, softness, uh, that this just really doesn't have. It's a great beer. It just doesn't have what I expect out of a milkshake IPA. Yeah, the, the mouthfeel is just not, it's not thick enough. It doesn't have that viscosity that uh, when you when you envision milkshake IPA, uh, I think the other day I had a, a smoothie sour or a smoothie seltzer uh, that had more, more body to this than this. That's good though. Oh, right, anyways, thanks for joining in on this quick review here. We, uh, Mash Mechanics, they are... Going into downtown College Springs. If you uh, have a chance to come down here to College Springs in the next little bit, uh, they're going to be at 429 East Pikes Peak Avenue. They're in a cool old building. Uh, half the brewery is a brew is the brew house, and the other half is some uh, seating and the bar. So uh, definitely, definitely come check it out if you're in the town. Let us know what you think. Meanwhile, I'm going to be finishing this. <laughs>